training is to give people the, the basics of understanding lifting operations. So we go from a slinger to a supervisor, operator, and the crane management side with a pointed person. We cover this for all lifting operations. So whether it's a mobile crane, whether you're using a gantry crane, tower cranes, we can cover the training accordingly for any of them. The slinger signaler is there to make sure that the load is lifted correctly, uh, it's level, balanced, nothing can fall off and it's slung correctly. We will break it down for slinger signalers, never been in the industry, to the point where we'll even bring them out on the first day, show them a crane, and this is our crane and this is what a crane can do. We have a theory based session where we start, we classroom or base, we've created really uh, picture orientated PowerPoints, we've got visual aids, so we've got uh, rigging walls to show all the individual items. So we can go into a lot of detail to give somebody that theoretical knowledge that they require. We bring them into the yard and we've got a bespoke training facility down here with lots of items. We've got rigging books with load weights, dimensions, with slinging configurations, and we teach them how to do this. It's not just about, for example, on a slinging course about how you actually sling a load, it's about your safety and where you're going to stand so that you're not going to get crushed, you're not going to get trapped by something. Mobile crane operator, best job in the world. Can be quite an intensive and hard course, especially for a trainer. We will show you the fundamentals, how to set it up safely, how to operate it in a nice, safe manner. I've been in the industry a long time now, 20 odd years. I've never damaged a crane and I've never turned one over. The lift supervisor. Normally dual role, usually a slinger and a supervisor, and their job is essentially to ensure that the job is done as per the plan for the job. We will then look at how you would control a lift team underneath you. Then you've got the appointed person. Their job is to, uh, to rep the job and write out what's known as a safe system of work or a method statement, which is essentially how the job should go from start to finish. It's a very tough course. It's one of the toughest courses out there to do, and we break it down into different manners of getting it across, because not everybody learns in the same manner. We have upped our game on the AP training. You need your load, you need your radius, and you need your boom length to be able to create a lift plan. And if you don't get those three things, it then starts becoming hard. And hopefully by the end of the week when we've got them, they're beginning to get and understand that process. We don't work in half eight till four rules. If they need additional candidates, we will stop here. You know, we've kept people on course till seven o'clock at night to go that extra mile with somebody if they need it. And we get really good pass rates just down to the fact that every candidate works hard and they're the ones who actually earn it. They're tested to the standard, but they're trained to a higher standard. Always reinventing something at the moment. We never stop. If a candidate comes in and they say something, we learn off the candidates as well.